Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophonet and welcome back to Bioshock in our uh, Let's Replay series where we try to delve a bit deeper into the the story and the, well, the little bits of trivia about this game. Today uh, we're gonna continue our trek through Neptune's, Neptune's bounty and hopefully return back to Peach Wilkins to give him the research we've done on uh, spider splices. But first, I missed this corpse over here which has an audio tape on it. So let's listen to that first. Now the eggs are in the scramble. We picked up Timmy Yates right after midnight. Either Ryan will be taking down Fontaine or Fontaine will be taking down Ryan. We'll be uh, interviewing poor Timmy Need Fontaine Fisheries. If you're up for entertainment, the code's 5380. So if you remember, we uh, found a door with a code near uh, the entrance to Fontaine Fisheries. And well, there's a... We found a corpse over there as well. A rapture reminder. We all have and over there, there's another tonic, but we can hear the female splicer humming around. So let's see if we can take that with us before we take anything. There we go. It's a nice start. Let's take a picture as well. A lovely A-rate picture. And let's take another one. And then let's... Goodbye. Oh, she even sticks to the ceiling. Oh! Jesus Christ, woman! Gee, what, 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 what's going on? Okay, let's take this. Wrench Lurker, when fighting those stronger or faster than yourself, you'll need every advantage possible in a scrum. Wrench Lurker allows you to make the most of your opportunities when your antagonist is caught off guard. So, uh, quiets your footsteps and increases damage from melee attacks on unaware opponents. Which is really nice. But we don't have an, uh, an empty slot to put that in just yet. And I don't think any will have uh, appeared either. Uh, we could take the health upgrade right now. Which I might even do. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So we uh, cleared out all the little sisters in this area, if I'm not mistaken. No, we aren't. So uh, that's all nicely done. I'm gonna quickly check out this thing as well and buy a few more Eve hypos, not too much because I'm first gonna check down here again now that we have the code to the door where uh, Timmy H got well tortured as you'll see in a second so let's enter the code you can actually hack these as well but uh, since we have the code why not eh? I think it's 5380 there we go. And, uh, well, Demi H got uh, electrocuted. And uh, we even have an interrogation AccuVox, so uh, let's listen to that. Mr. Ryan asked me personally to make this clear to you. You give us Fontaine and this old filthy ring of his, and you'll be knocking back pints up at the Fighting McDonough's. But if you prefer to play the mule, we'll treat you like a mule. Give him a taste, Patrick. What's that? Change of heart, Timmy? Timmy! Ready to talk now? Go on, Go on, do you do Whatever Ryan thinks you can do to me, Fontaine can do double! So, uh, even when he's being tortured, he claims that Fontaine is a lot worse than that. Oh, hi. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't my brightest idea. I just chucked the guy while I was standing in the water myself, but hey. Oh, look at that. That wasn't uh, my brightest idea, but hey. Um, so that's the story of Timmy H torture and I think that's also the last AccuVox regarding uh, 
Sullivan, the, the police officer, or, well, the officer right here at Neptune's Bounty. So quickly gonna check here again, maybe take a few more film, because we're run out of that. Uh, and aside from that, I'm just gonna load up on EVE hypos and first aid kits. You'll see in a second why. So let's recharge that as well. The RPG turret apparently didn't survive. So let's see if there's anything in here we can use. Nope. Okay. So then uh, let's head back in. So everything we left here is still here. Uh, I might whack that down in a second. But first, let's say hello to uh, Peach Wilkins again. The warp rat didn't get himself that. You got something from me and my crew? Or are you just looking to get criticized? You set here a spell. I need to set on some coffee. Maybe put on silverware and the like. <laughs> Okay, so he's gonna welcome us in, is what that means. Before you head into the fisheries, a word to the wise. All PG seems about as straight as a dog's hind leg. You keep your eyes open. So that's the story, Dad, and take the first aid kits out of that. Nobody wants you to my swampy carry in the heat. Put your weapons in the new hole, and then I'll let you in. So Peach Wilkins still doesn't trust us, and we need to put all our weapons in the Numo tube. I'm even wondering if we can keep the wrench, but uh... Let's open this up, and there's another tonic here. Focused Hacker, another favorite in the HackSmart line of gene tonics. Focused Hacker diffuses overload traps in secure systems. Fewer tried circuits, guaranteed, or your money back. Um... Security expert or speedy hacker. I'm just gonna keep everything as, as it is. Although we will be able to use everything that we have at our disposal. So nothing in the corpse either. I don't think there's anything over there. And these are probably empty as well. So, right now we need to put our weapons away. And that's exactly what we're gonna do in the pneumatic tube here. So, uh, goodbye weapons. But we still have a wrench. Okay, that's great. I was rumbling about that, didn't really remember that. Just gonna heal and take that one as well. Uh, there's a lot of ice here, but not all of the ice is uh, useful to be removed. So, let's take telekinesis and grab one of these. Because now the fog sets in. Making it nearly impossible to see around here. So Peach Wilkins thinks that we work for Fontaine, which is of course not the case right now. Because uh, as far as we know, Fontaine is still dead. Oh, completely missed that one. He jumped out of the way though. So that's another Nitro Splicer. So Peach Wilkins is a Nitro Splicer. And this is a cool combo. You see there's a lot of water nearby. The splices are smart enough to jump into the water if they're on fire. Apparently not this one though. Jesus Christ. Okay. First gonna hack a few things. So that's that. Okay. So let's just whack him down. Ow. That was uh, a bit... Gimme. Goodbye. That kind of exploded us as well, but hey. So we defeated Peach's Wilkins. 
more than likely the entrance will be hit. Seriously? So there's another turret over there as well. I'm gonna have to reload this though. I never actually, actually took pictures of a turret, by the way, so let's do that as well. And let's hack the thing! So that's that, and that's also the end of Peach's Wilkins. Peach Wilkins, I'm sorry, I keep saying Peaches for some reason. Uh, but he's a guy, not a woman, of course. And I think Peaches is a, a female name, right? So yeah, Peach Wilkins was uh, a bit cuckoo. Let's hack this thing as well. And defeating him with just our... Uh, our plasmids and the wrench wasn't that easy. But hey, we managed, right? So there's another grenade box, probably his. And let's gather all the supplies we can find. I'm gonna head back to incinerate. And try to melt all the ice we can find. That wasn't too smart now, was it? Okay. Hello. So let's take a few more pictures. I think we're almost there. So let's... One more picture and there we go. I think that completes... I think... Yeah, okay, there we go. Fully researched the gun splices. So gun splices we don't need to research anymore. Because that's completely done. Now that we melted the ice in front of the door, we can actually access this area. It's a sort of, well, another freezer. But uh, there's a lot of supplies in here, so uh, always worth the trouble to go in through this place. Let's take the chips with us. Uh, this thing we could set on fire, but also like to just destroy all the ice in here because I'm not really sure which has loot and which doesn't. This clearly does. Um, well, I don't like cigarettes. You anything useful? We can do that again and just reload. Take the Eve Hypo. So there's two more Eve Hypos on this guy. Which we might be able to use if we're done uh, melting all the ice because I think there's another Tomic over here somewhere as well. If I'm not mistaken, of course, which I very well could be. So yeah, more and more people seem to believe that Fontaine is still alive. And uh, well, if a lot of people believe that, it might as well be true, right? As you can see, there's a hole over there in the wall. Oh, something destroyed this camera. I didn't do that. I think. Oh yeah, I probably did when I threw that barrel right next to Peach Wilkins. My bad. So let's take one of these because we can clearly hear uh, a splicer. Or not. Just need to be careful with incinerate next to these barrels. That's the one we need to melt for uh, to be able to access the room next to this. So let's crouch and crawl through here. And there we go. And there's a lot of money in here. Well, not that much, but it's something at least. Nothing on this corpse as well. And that's about it, I think, because we can't really find anything in here next to the money. It's just that little bit of money that's here. Okay, let's get out of the fish. And get back to the main area and then we can uh, quickly grab our stuff back. Just gonna take this whip me. Just in case. Anything else spawned? No, nothing? Let's throw that down there. Because we can still hear voices. And it's not in my head. Uh, I'm also gonna reload this guy. And just grab one of the Eve Hypos on this corpse. There we go. So all filled up. Okay, thank you, door. Thank you, door. Don't know why that happened. Uh, but I think I'm gonna take one of these with me. Oh yeah, okay, I put one down there already. So let's take all our weapons back. And there we have a very nice machine. 
I'm gonna quickly check if there's not anything here. They're probably all behind that door. This is a power to the people station. And what a power to the people station does is you can choose one of the weapon upgrades available to us. So we have pistol clip size, pistol damage increase, so all pretty normal ones. Then we have the machine gun kickback reduction, which uh, stabilizes the fire of the machine gun, makes it a bit more useful than it is right now. Higher rate of fire for the shotgun, higher damage for the shotgun, and then higher damage for the grenade launcher and damage immunity for the grenade launcher. The reason why I don't really use the grenade launcher right now is because it's pretty useless because the radius of the uh, grenades is pretty big so every time you fire you're most more than likely to take some damage so the first one I'm gonna take is actually the grenade launcher damage immunity and now we're actually uh, immune to uh, the damage we did we actually take the right one okay yeah we did just, just wanted to check. I thought that looked different, but that's probably in Bioshock 2 that that looks a bit different. Um, uh, that's why I'm uh, a bit confused. But hey, let's melt some more ice. Now that we're here. And let's probably take telekinesis to open that door. Hello. Hello. You don't know what it Oh, yeah, okay. He threw a fucking grenade while he was stunned. That was bullshit. There we go. Increase damage. Let's take another one and then just whack his face in. And if you do that while they're stunned, they uh, don't drop another grenade, actually. Another dead splicer and putting the screws on. Fontaine's putting the screws on us and double. He's squeezing us out of 80 points of our cut with the threat of turning us into Ryan if we don't play ball. Son of a bitch. Sammy G comes and tells me he's thinking of going to the constable. And the next day, Sammy G was found in a sack in a salt pond. We had no choice here. We stay on Fontaine's crew and we're gonna catch the gallows. We take powder and we end up like Sammy G. So Peach Wilkins was uh, tired of Fontaine and was looking for a way out. And uh, well, he apparently found one. Because he looked pretty okay in here. So let's see if there's anything under this uh, heap of ice. And just hack the save. I thought I had an auto hack left, but apparently I don't. So uh, give me a second. There we go. And let's open this up. Four anti-personnel rounds, three electric bucks, and an automatic hack tool. I thought I had one left, but apparently probably wasted that on something else by accident. Um, so yeah, power of the people stations are actually a one use only. You can choose one and then it closes on itself. Which is pretty weird if that would happen in the real world, but let's check all these, uh, these piles of ice. Not that there's anything useful underneath this one, apparently. Uh, nothing here. A pep bar and nothing else. Okay, then I'm gonna quickly head back up again and take that other Eve hypo. More power to us, right? More Eve the better. So let's grab this guy. And then head back down. And now we're pretty much done with Neptune's bounty, actually. So let's head through the right one over here. And uh, is there... Because I'm still looking for the director's commentary, but... I probably must have missed it. And there we go again. You can't quit. Fontaine will find you. Hey, fuck Fontaine. You don't fuck Fontaine. Fontaine fucks you. And there we have another... Uh, Plasmid, uh, well, two plasmid ghosts. I'm gonna explain that what uh, that actually is, but uh, I can't do that right now just yet because I would spoil too much of the. Oh, look at that! There's the director's commentary. So let's take it and not play it. So thank you. So unlock that. So that should be unlocked then. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where's that music coming from? So I'm not going to explain just yet what those plasmid ghosts are all about and why they actually appear because that's going to spoil too much of the story. Should be smooth sailing from here. I'll meet you up ahead. So there we go. We uh, we are in the basement of Fontaine Fisheries 
and uh, right into the smuggler's hideout where we should be able to help out Atlas and his family. Okay, let's see. There's of course a lot of smuggler's crates, but I think these smuggler's crates can contain a lot of more interesting stuff. That's why I'm checking them. And there we have another flashback. And if you... Yeah. So Atlas is uh, right there at the uh, submarine bay, the other, uh, the way out actually, the way out of Rapture. And he's right next to his family, trying to get them out. But that flashback we just got, we got one as well when we uh, defeated Steinman. But now we got a bit of a closer look at it. And it was actually the picture that we were holding uh, at the start of the game in the airplane if you remember. More on that of course later on. So I don't want to spoil anything of course. So this place is completely flooded, well not completely but a bit. That's boost, don't need that. And the indication of a chain bank, well points to that we might come across a few more things. A dead guy, another pneumo tube which we don't, we can't use right now. And there's a turret over there. So I'm gonna have to try and uh, zigzag a bit. I could take it out, but I'm not going to, because because uh, I want to take a few pictures. So that's upgraded us, and you can find twice the ammunition on destroyed turrets right now. So let's hack it. There we go. So that's another turret for us, because there's a lot of explosive barrels here as well, so we could uh, actually take that out pretty easily. Uh, another EVE Hypo shotgun and, well, generally a lot more supplies here, of course, because we're in the, the smuggler's hideout. So there are just plainly a lot of supplies here. Makes sense canonically as well. So let's listen to this. We all come down here. Figured we all be part of Ryan's great chain. <laughs> Turns out Ryan's chain is made of gold and ours are the sort with the big iron ball around your ankle. He's up in Fort Frolic banging fashion models. <sighs> We're down in this dump yanking guts out of fish. Fontaine's promising something better. He's like a, one of us, you know? Like he's worked a day in his life. He says meet him at his fish packing joint at 11. I'll go, bring a couple of guys. Hey, it's not like things could get a lot worse. Well, apparently they did get a lot worse, eh, Peach Wilkins? So that was an audio diary from when he started to work alongside Fontaine. And actually, what's really funny about that is that offhand comment about uh, Andrew Ryan banging uh, models in uh, Fort Frolic is actually correct, because Diane McClintock, the one he was actually banging, was actually a model. Uh, and Fort Frolic is an area we'll be visiting as well, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Let's see, more boosts, and we're not going to take that, that's another trap. A boost filled trap! So let's head down and there we have the submarine! Look at that! I couldn't agree more, so let's head through this place. You had your fun, but enough is enough. And there's Andrew Ryan himself. You'll learn what it means to truly be my enemy. So he's threatening us with uh, not pushing the button. Which is actually uh, not something we can choose. We don't really have a choice in the matter. We have to push that button. Um, but yeah, since Andrew Ryan knows we're here, that doesn't bode well now, does it? So let's take our way through here. Whack the lock. If I could actually aim at the lock. And then we should be at the control boot here. Yeah, there we go. So there's a... We can go on here as well, so we can take a look uh, right out here, what's uh, down below here. But we, of course, first need to flip the control panel. And there we go. And over there on the left, there's Atlas. Hello! So his family is supposed to be inside the submarine. 
But Andrew Ryan has other plans. If only your friend could look up and see. Maybe. Maybe only you could do something. So there's a lot of uh, spider splices waiting in ambush. So now we need to uh, head our way through the... Okay, that one flew against the wall. We need to head towards his family and try to get them out of the submarine as fast as we can. But there's of course a buttload of splicers. And I'm just gonna try and uh, take everybody out here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hi, woman. There she goes. I think I hear someone behind me as well. Yeah, I know you too. So there we go. There's a submarine right over there. We just need to head over there, but there's an audio diary right here. Sorry for that, but that's, I mean, I can't miss anything right now. From Frank Fontaine himself. So that's uh, a really important audio diary that's right over here, indicating that Frank Fontaine got his power and his atom because he partnered up with Tannenbaum. And now we need to get to that submarine. But the splicers have another idea. And they just uh, blew up the, uh, the submarine. You lose in like a assassin and then you try to sneak out like a thief. But no CIA spook. Who are you? Why have you come here? There's two ways to deal with a mystery. Uncover it or eliminate it. <laughs> So that's uh, the sad ending of Atlas's family. Because what's left of the submarine is one flaming pile of scrap. Sorry, Atlas. I truly am sorry. But hey, so now we need to head towards Arcadia in an attempt to actually get out of this place. Because, uh, well, that's another submarine down. Another submarine we can't use anymore. I'm just gonna quickly take a look around if we can't find anything else here. Let's reload that. And there's the, the last Accuvox in uh, Neptune's bounty. Offers a deal. The Irish pork pie offered me a deal. I flip him Fontaine and I walk out of here. That simple. How do I know that fat fuck isn't Fontaine's guy? How do I know they're not all Fontaine's guy? Fontaine's got Adam, and everybody wants it. Brian's got a whole lot of talk and a nice suit. Even down here, any idiot can see which way the wind is blowing. Okay, so, uh... Peach Wilkins got another offer from uh, an Irish fat fuck, which I think is supposed to be McDonough. But, uh, he doesn't trust anybody anymore, just the way as he didn't trust us and just uh, started something on his own in that freezer below Fontaine Fisheries. I'm gonna take a little break before we head into Arcadia, so uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on the YouTube, and if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye! Okay,